rush hour on the Beltway. Could be some big changes there. Governor Larry Hogan putting hundreds of millions of dollars in an attempt to ease that congestion. ABC 2's Cassie Carlisle is live for us on In the News Wrangler. Riding around the Beltway right now, Cassie, one of the big things here, adding another lane to help traffic get through. Yeah, Christian, that's exactly right. We're on the outer loop right now, just past the 83 in the Pikesville area. And as you look out at the road, it is a little bit thicker this morning. And the big takeaways from yesterday's announcement is there will be an extra lane created in the large inner shoulder on the left side of your screen in both directions from where the Beltway connects with I-70 all the way down to Route 43. That's about 37% of the Beltway, 19 miles. Now, the plan also includes doubling the length of the express toll lane northbound on I-95 from White Marsh to Route 24 and rebuilding the interchange at I-70. Adding that new capacity, our models are showing at least a 15-minute reduction in travel time in each direction. Other improvements include stoplights on on-ramps to meter the flow of cars onto the highway, Five bridges will be rebuilt and new sound walls will go up. Now, this is all going to cost about $461 million. And Christian, they're set to start construction in late 2018.